This is the nature of change. If you resist it, you have dukkha, you have frustration and suffering. But on the other hand, if you understand change, you don't cling to it and you let it flow, then it's no problem, it becomes positively beautiful. Which is why in poetry, the theme of the evanescence of the world is beautiful. It's always the image of change that really makes the poem. when you watch wild geese suddenly seen and then lost in the clouds.
see the, the sky beyond. You don't go over there to look and see what's on the other side. That wouldn't be you again. You let the other side be the other side. And it evokes something in your imagination, but you don't attempt to define it, to pin it down. You can. Where do they go? Don't answer, because that would spoil the mystery.